And this afternoon, the political fallout is growing. This as former President Trump pled not guilty to federal criminal charges. From Capitol Hill to the campaign trail, Republicans are reacting. Many still backing the former president, while some have begun to break away and put the blame for Trump's legal troubles squarely on him. NBC's Alice Barr is on Capitol Hill with the details. As former President Trump makes his first appearance in federal court today, pleading not guilty to charges he mishandled government secrets and misled investigators, he's already appealing to the court of public opinion. It's a disgrace. It's a witch hunt. The whole thing is a scam. Republican reaction growing more mixed with a few GOP lawmakers now voicing concerns. What President Trump did was wrong. I mean, it's clear as day. It's very problematic. There's a reason I'm not, not defending it. Most Republicans are standing by the former president. Justice is not being carried out equally. Pointing to President Biden's ongoing classified documents investigation. Politically is seen as a double standard. Legal analysts stress that unlike Mr. Biden, Mr. Trump is accused of obstructing efforts to get the documents back. There is evidence that he acted willfully. That is, he knew what he was doing and he even knew what he was doing was illegal. Former President Trump faces a 37-count indictment accusing him of storing highly classified national security documents haphazardly around Mar-a-Lago, showing them to people twice and concealing them from investigators. On the campaign trail, a shift to sharper rhetoric from some GOP rivals. If this indictment is true, if what it says is actually the case. President Trump was incredibly reckless with our national security. There are people in my own party who are blaming DOJ. How about blame him? He did it. Others keeping up the pressure on the Republican frontrunner as the first federal indictment of a former U.S. president sends shockwaves through the 2024 race for the White House. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. And there are a lot of questions now about whether any trial will play out during the presidential race or push until after the election and what effect it will have. The former president has been fundraising on the indictment, including an event that's set for tonight back in New Jersey.